Hi, hi and welcome. Welcome to the Arts Council of Surrey Community Gallery here at the Newton Culture Centre. My name is Wendy Mould. I am the producer of ACS Gallery Talks and I'm here today to introduce you to our featured artists for the month of May, Alison Philippot and Wendy Smith. Both the ladies have some awesome work and it's here until May 29th. You can see their work by going online at artscouncilofsurrey.ca or in person by making an appointment. Allison's uh, show is called Yes, It's Colored Pencil and Wendy's show is West Coast Wildlife. So let's go have a look at their work and meet the artists. Well, this afternoon I'm really excited about uh, talking with Wendy Smith. She's a wildlife artist and uh, her picture here is Catch at Low Tide. Wendy uh, works with oil and um, of course as you know I'm a wildlife artist as well so I'm quite excited to hear the stories of Wendy's pictures. So Wendy, tell us the story of Catch at Low Tide. Yes, well it all started when we went to Ukiola and we always watch a lot of bears. We just love watching bears there. And so I just had to take a picture of this one because I like working for my own photographs if I can. And he was at, uh, standing a low tide in the inlet and he was catching a lot of salmon, but this one was the chum. And he was looking at us and I thought, oh, and so it gives me good memories of uh, painting this. And, he was on the rocks, standing on the rocks and on the seaweed. So it brings back good memories of this wow. painting. Yeah, very awesome. Awesome shot to get. Well, let's go see another picture and hear its story. Thank you. Well, Wendy, this looks like a lovely deer here. Young Buck. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about his story too? Oh, sure. Uh, we uh, drive to the island a lot because uh, we're always on the lookout for wildlife all the time because that's what I do and that's what I like to paint. So we were just coming past Courtney and we were going down this alley and lane way and we seen this buck in, in the bushes and I thought, oh my goodness, I've got to take pictures of it because they're very hard to find in the wild, especially in the wild. And this young buck was eating leaves and everything and he looked so peaceful, and uh, I just thought, oh, I better take the picture. And this was one of my favorite pictures. He's just in the bushes with these pine trees, and the color of them I sure like, and it will bring back a lot of memories that, um, that I like to paint from. Just I like to paint from things that I've seen, so this is one of my favorites. Oh, great, great. Well, thank you very much. Let's move on. Beautiful thing. I love those wood ducks, by the way. They're so colorful. Uh, great picture. This is the odd couple. So what's their story, Wendy? Ugh. Well, you know, I love going to Burnaby Lake. That's my favorite place to take pictures of wildlife. And you probably heard about the Mandarin duck that he was on the news because uh, everybody was taking pictures. What's this Mandarin, Mandarin duck doing at Burnaby Lake? But so everybody takes pictures of it. But I, I always, he's always following the female wood duck. And that's what makes this picture so so interesting. He, he made this his, his pal. He was always with the female wood duck, always protecting it and being with it. And, uh, and it just brings up so much memories of that mandarin duck and, and the wood duck. That's why they're called the odd couple. <laughs> right, right. And that isn't a wood duck, is it? It's the mandarin. You were this saying. is the mandarin. That's oh, right. I remember the male wood duck. I remember reading about that in the paper. Yes, I can see why he would be. Yeah. Now when I look closer, coloring not wood duck. He's <laughs> colorful, yeah. but definitely different. Oh, what an awesome opportunity, eh? Yeah. yeah. Nice. Thank you. Okay. So Wendy, now that I've seen some of your work, I have just a few questions I'd like to ask you as well about your pieces. Uh, first of all, I understand this is a pretty exciting time for you. This is your first oil show, you tell me? Yes, this is the first time I've done an oil painting show because I've always painted watercolors for 25 years. But then in the last year, I needed to try something new and now uh, I'm painting oils and I really enjoy it actually, very nice. Oh, neat, that's kind of neat. And so now, too, um, what kind of mentors? I know a lot of people, like myself, we're in wildlife, uh, and I have 
some different artists that I follow. Who are your mentors? Well, of course, my favorite is Robert Bayman. I met him personally a couple times, and and Terry Isaac. I met him, and he really um, helped me with my oils, critiqued me a lot, and it really it will never forget them. And they're inspiration to me because I like painting wildlife as well. Yeah. Oh. Oh, hey, that's kind of neat. Yes, Robert Bateman is all, of course, all of us wildlife <laughs> artists like him too. Yeah. I certainly enjoy his work. So what about your studio setup? What are you, where do you work? How, how do these pictures become created? What do you do? Right, so I, I sit up uh, in the morning on my kitchen table, put my oils on, and then I roll and put my CD on of Net and Nature Music, and it helps me get into the mood of painting my wildlife and that's how I start in the morning doing the morning. Yeah. Well that's kind of neat. So I guess in many ways you've been quite isolated in your uh, with COVID. Um, just quietly you're one of those at home workers, eh? Yes. Yeah. Well thank you very much Wendy. I really enjoyed talking with you and learning a lot about your art and of course seeing your art today. And um, yes, I was surprised to see all these oils because I knew that you worked in other mediums. So again, congratulations on your show and really lovely to talk with you. Thank you. Well, it's really great to see and talk to you today, Allison. I've been looking forward to this because I do enjoy your uh, colored pencil work. And as you know, I play with colored pencil myself. Now, I, you picked out a couple of pictures for us to really talk about today. And I understand that our first picture, Gazing Out to Sea, has quite a nice story to it. Can you tell us about it? Yeah, it's been in my photo um, collection for about 10 years. I prefer to use my own photos, but I'm not much of a photographer. But this one, I really loved everything about it. Um, as soon as I saw it, it was a trip back to Ireland with my family. The first time we'd all been, the four of us had been back where I'm from. And this, uh, these rocks that, this is our son, Tim, uh, sitting on these rocks, just gazing out to see. I did the same thing when I was his age in that spot. And it just, it, it, it just uh, touched my heart and I really wanted to do it. Um, just brought back so many memories. It's just such a personal, uh, thing it really tugs at my heart uh, and I can you know to sense the um, the sea the sound of the sea the smell of the salt um, the, the the sky kind of almost is it going to rain is it not uh, that's so typical of of Ireland especially in the summer <laughs> where we're from oh wow so, that's so neat okay yeah. well let's have a look at your next picture hold on here Okay, the second picture looks kind of interesting, the umbrella mushroom. What are the kind of things you want to tell us about this one, uh, um, Allison? Oh, this was such a surprise. As I say, I, I, I generally like to use my own photos and I also love to garden. Um, and at the end of the summer, this particular year, I had turned a big old clay pot upside down, empty, and put another pot on top of it. Well, at the end of the summer, I was cleaning up and tidying up and I put took the pot off the soil and there was this giant mushroom that had been growing there all summer. It would have been, I think it was about eight inches tall. It was huge and beautiful. It just had that rosy, creamy, and it was growing among rocks and things, which I love to, to draw too. So it was like instant, get the camera, get, get a bunch of shots in this. But I also wanted the texture, when it came to drawing it, the texture of the, the background, I wanted to, to be rough. So I actually did it on, it's artist um, sanded paper. Uh, this one is tinted a little bit, just a, a beigey thing, and I think it really goes with the mushroom uh, topic. Oh, neat, neat. It is a very interesting mushroom, too. It's amazing how big they get, isn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah, totally in the dark. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Well, Allison, this is really, this third picture is really quite an interesting one. And I understand you have some real emotional attachment to that. And I can certainly see why. Um, grateful certainly brings to mind lots of ideas for me as well. So let's hear your story on it. Yeah, this one just popped out at me. Uh, the colors, first of all, are what attracted me. Uh, just that, that raspberry red and the, and the teal colored bowl. But as I started working on it and thinking about it, I really zeroed in on the word grateful that was on this bowl. In this year where so it's been so hard for so many people, I realized that I have so much to be thankful for, just the, and, and grateful for. Um, just the, even the, the, a simple thing like eating a raspberry. Um, it's just, it's so delicious and so wonderful um, that we can, I can forget simple things like that, that, that bring me joy. Um, and and I, I loved drawing this picture. I didn't want it to stop. I didn't want to finish it. <laughs> well, thank you very much. It's been really awesome to uh, chat with you today, Allison, and to hear a little bit about your art. I and I certainly enjoyed your show. And I want to thank you and uh, Wendy for putting together such a good show for us. And just to remind people that the Allison uh, Philpot show, yes, it's colored pencil, and Wendy uh, Smith's show, West Coast Wildlife can be seen here at the Newton Cultural Center by appointment until May 29th or online at the Arts Council of Surrey.ca. So have a good day. And thanks a lot, Alison.